the fear of missing out, bro. FOMO. FOMO. F O M O. It's almost like FUBAR. <laughs> but FUMO. Like SUMO. <laughs> this guy went out there. But you know, like the fear of missing out, meaning that, you know. Say somebody's out there having so much fun. And you're so seeing fun. it on Snapchat, like, I really wish I was there. Dude, yeah, I wish. And it's starting to upset you because you're not there. That's basically the fear of missing your fear Your fear of missing out is basically. You don't want to miss out on the situation. You want to be there to observe it and enjoy it and take it all in just as well as somebody else does. And just to have it clear, you only seen what they post on their social media. So you don't even know if they're paying for whatever they're doing. It coming from their own pockets. Or, it's or just they could just went down the street and rented a Lambo and posted it up on there. Be like, Look it happens a lot. Right here. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it happens a lot. It happens a lot the more you think of. Like, people rent cars, fancy cars. They rent, you know, luxury washes. They buy washes, you know, just to show it off. Or they travel just because they want to take a picture and post on social media. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. to, like, feel like oh, I'm doing something better than you. Yeah. That's a, the that's a competitive nature of social media. You know how dumb that is? Yeah, but... What can you say about society if people don't listen and wake up to the ideas and the realms of what's going on? How can you change it? I didn't. Ah, man, you you speaking facts. It's just it's just it's stupid, bro. Like people people need to stop looking at the other person a lot. You know, live yeah. your world. Live the world that you want to live. Don't hey, live what other don't people. Don't be looking around. Oh, and this this person doing that. This person went to this place and tried this out. Mm. You know what I'm trying to get to? Yeah, don't don't be afraid to say no to a situation where you can't go and even though you want you you want to be there and don't want to miss it. You know, sometimes it happens in life. We miss situations. We get past them and then sometimes better blessings come down around the road. And it's beautiful when you have your own thing for yourself. When you know how you know how it feels good when you work something for yourself. Mm-hmm. I made this happen for myself. Most definitely. There was no third person involved. There was no second person involved. I work for myself. I work for this. Whatever I have today, I earn it. You know? I mean, let's, I, 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 let's dive into it for one second. Like, how difficult for me to see a young person, 23 years old, stuck in a house, letting their parents buy whatever they want them to buy, and you sit your butt in the house. Like, Not no how crazy shit. that is. It's crazy, like like it's 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 just taking responsibility in life. And we're in the middle of the pandemic, but if you take a walk one mile down this way, you're gonna see a whole bunch of signs saying we need people, we're hiring. Even we're in the middle of the pandemic. Most definitely. I mean, there's a lot of jobs that have closed, and there's a lot of new jobs that have opened. Do you think that's the parents' fault of not like having that? putting that commitment to them to work or do you think that's the per- that's their own person's fault not having that drive to work? It's a little bit of both. I mean, you can get the influence. I, I mean, mean so, you so, you know, when you're growing a, up, right? a lot of things are based around energy. You know, if you're around that, that slow and that negative energy for a long time, it's going to resonate through you for it's a long hit time. You. It, it, you know, it's kind of like rubs off when you like say, Hey, I see you, you. You're you're doing what you're doing. Let me work around you and let let let's see if that some of that good luck rubs off onto me. Mm-hmm. That situation, mm-hmm. the environment. Yeah, trying trying to let that 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 environment influence you. That hits different, you know. When you have an environment of people that are working and motivating you, compared to an environment that's just loud and depressing and unfocused. Yeah, you know that that can really shift your vision in a way. You know, like a lot of kids nowadays. That's what happens. It's the environment where they grew up at or their household, you know, growing up with a single parent or mm. growing up with, you know, you know, just not having that proper structure, you know. Yeah, it's always about, like, I mean, nowadays, you know, you can't beat a kid. You can't do anything. Yeah, that's, that. not, that's a no-no. You yeah. got to find other ways to, to... Discipline. Yeah, to discipline. And, you know, you beat your kid, you're going to want to get your kid taken away or you getting locked up. Things like that nowadays. So, I mean, that that was a core structure of most of everybody's discipline when they were younger, from get, you know our generation and back. And I feel like that switched after our generation. So, but it's interesting. We're making it, 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 like I said, it's it's all about 
the teachings of of the family and the environment that your kid's in is how they're going to grow up. There's no way that it's not. But then, then again, you also have those kids that, you know, get inspired by other th- other means as well. You know, like, you know, like when I was younger, I used to watch people on like YouTube or the internet and be like, yeah. like the, I want to be like you. I want to, I want to, I want to work hard as you and have the things you have. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to, I want to know how that feels. To have that. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Like sometimes, not necessarily your parent motivates you to do something, but maybe like whoever you grew up watching or inspired yeah. by. Yeah. Somebody who, who can be a real role model, no, no Cardi B role model, because she is not a role model. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Cardi B is a role model. She went from stripping to making music, a businesswoman now. I mean, but I talking think, about a WAP? Hey, hey, that's if you look at the numbers, who makes the biggest number? Talking I, about I, what about a WAP I mean, or having a soft. Like I said, I don't music. have I don't have anything against Cardi B, but it's like sounds like you have something problem with Cardi B, no. man. <laughs> so so it sounds like you have a problem with Cardi B. That's what it is. You can be you can be transparent with the camera, let the people know what's the issue you have with Cardi. I have no issue with Cardi B, but I'm just she saying, just like, I'm, I'm just no no no. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's not always the best to to, to flaunt sexuality around, especially when it comes down to the like, younger the younger kids and stuff like that. Mm. I can see when it comes past a certain limit, you know, when you get into your later teens and things like that, getting ready to become in your 20s, you know, idolizing somebody who would be something like that, but it's like you can't let that influence the kids too yet. Remember, what Cardi puts out there, it's not her job to, you know, I guess, you know, control what kids see. Yeah, I know. That's the parents, like, be like, you cannot be on this and that and, and that, 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 and that, that and that. That's 100% the truth, but it still gets out some way, somehow. So. Whether it's through that kid's friend, that their parents have less restrictions on them, or whatever, whatever. Well, that's when the parents will come and play, be like, you're not hanging out with this guy and this girl, and we need to get your ass in the house. And <laughs> That's period. <laughs> but you, you see my perspective. I see, I see. It can get out there. I see what you're saying. It, it, it can go, it can go a little bit too much, like. Sometimes. But also, it can inspire girls to be singers, you know, at the end of the day. It, it, it singers has been and back. rappers, but if you feel like you got to throw your body out there all the time to make a difference for yourself, I mean, that's up to you. I'm that's, not judging yeah. you, but... Yeah. We'll let Carter do her thing, you know? Yeah. Well, guys, man, another beautiful episode of Smoking the Truth podcast is your host... Orlando Flo right there. And Ken Oz on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Just like how this episode came straight to you guys. From the camera. You know, straight to the phones, straight to the computer. Just make sure you guys like. Share and subscribe. subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're watching boom, on YouTube. Boom, boom, boom. And don't forget, guys, it's been a beautiful content. It's a beautiful 2021 coming around the corner, man. Most definitely. Let's grind. Let's do this, guys. We love you guys. We appreciate everything. Have a blessed one. It's been Smoking the Truth Podcast. See you. Love you. One love.